much. I think this is not time for lots of speeches. Like the co-chair, Mr. Jim Ovia, as well as Elijah Ali, have always said, uh, we sometimes talk a lot. It's time for action. This is an event to demonstrate the Private Sector Alliance's commitment to improving the health and well-being of our children in line with the President's Transformation Agenda and the Saving One Million Lives Initiative. The Saving One Million Lives Initiative is really not a new project. It stands and builds on existing policies by government and it aims to change fundamentally the way we do things. We are moving the health sector to one that is in the business of saving lives, creating jobs and creating wealth. So the Private Sector Health Alliance was therefore set up to complement government efforts and mobilize the private sector to contribute to this Saving One Million Lives movement. So the vision really is to build an unprecedented, world-class, private sector-led coalition that focuses on advocacy, innovation, and public-private partnerships to save a million lives. As a result, that has led into our two-year strategic plan that has two components. One of it is a private sector emergency response plan that seeks to work with the public sector to collectively save over 400,000 lives. The second component has to do with a health impact investment fund. Given the urgency to act now, the Board of Private Sector Health Alliance of Nigeria are pleased to take this first step in moving the needle by declaring a commitment to raise $24.2 million to kick off the implementation of the Private Sector Health Alliance Strategic Action Plan. Thank you very much. And it is making a difference, saving 400 lives, it's a major achievement, aiming for one million lives. It's even a much larger achievement. I don't have the English word to describe how I feel about saving a million lives, but God will bless all of you who are working so hard to save lives for Nigeria. There's need for continual partnership. The world should be partnership. I know we're in the age of uh, transformation. Uh, there's no way we can move forward if we're not working as uh, partners. executive governors of Bauchi and Kogi State, our international partners, and all our stakeholders, ladies and gentlemen, for joining hands with us to achieve the level objectives of our organization. We believe this is an idea whose time has come, and as more people join the train, we believe the momentum will build up to achieve the objective of saving our lives. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you. Today's declaration is a major landmark uh, towards ensuring that uh, as a country, Nigerian has struck our effort towards achieving the NDGs from 4, 5, and 6. I'm here today encouraged. You know, we have had challenges for many years, and our challenges were beginning to become our excuses. So the fact that the Nigeria private sector is joining the public sector and finding the solutions and being prepared to push these solutions right to the front line to solve our problems is hugely encouraging for those of us who have seen the challenges at the front line. The Private Sector Health Alliance of Nigeria, led by Alhaji Ali Kutangote, co-chaired by Mr. Jim Ovia, Ai Kimokwede, Dr. Mohamed Ali Pati, and Mr. Sholade Dibora, today announced a $24.2 million commitment towards a private sector emergency response plan to achieving health MDGs and a health impact investment fund to unlocking the market potential of the health sector. We are touched by the sincere leadership of corporate leaders in Nigeria in mobilizing private sector resources and capabilities to save lives and create jobs. We call on other private sector members as well as development partners to join this effort and help to mobilize resources, capabilities and expertise towards advancing Nigeria's progress in meeting the health-related MDGs.